You can't buy a dinosaur with a dime. Problem solving in dollars and cents. By Harriet Ziefert. Pictures by Amanda Haley. Clink, 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 clinkity. Money saved in a bank makes your brain think thinkity. I have ten quarters, seven dimes, and six nickels. Pete has three dollars and fifty cents. How much money do you have? Pete has nickels, quarters, dimes. He'd like to buy a toy. If he can pay for what he wants, he'll be a happy boy. Mom says, Pete, the money's yours to spend at Harry's store. And if you choose to spend it all, then you can save some more. I just counted my money. I have three dollars and fifty cents. Pete finds a scary dinosaur, as green as sour pickles. He wonders how much it will cost in quarters, dimes, and nickels. Pete lines all his quarters up and then adds seven dimes. Unsure of the total sum, he counts it two more times. That will be three dollars plus twenty cents tax. Have you spent money from your bank? How much? How much do you have left? Pete's bank is almost empty now. He puts it on a shelf. He has a brand new dinosaur and 30 cents total wealth. Pete holds Tyrannosaurus Rex. He names him Ugly Jack. Then he reads a comic book, If Dinosaurs Came Back. At dinner, Pete is looking sad. He wishes for more money. Though he likes his dinosaur, an empty bank feels funny. You'll get two dollars, says his dad, if you clean the yard. Then you can start to save again. The work is not too hard. Pete carries out old papers and sweeps the dirty floor. He sorts through the recycling and puts it by the door. Here are eight new quarters, his dad says with a smile. Pete is glad to get them. He'll save them for a while. Here's two dollars, all in quarters. How many quarters do you have? When Pete gets his allowance, he puts it in a bank. I have lots of change. Here's your allowance for the week. Five dimes and five nickels. Clinkity, clinkity, clank. How much is your allowance? Lucky Pete, he finds a dime on his way to school. He sells six baseball cards to Kate, who thinks the cards are cool. I'll give you five cents for each one. Did you ever sell anything to a friend? How much money did you receive? Pete puts the money in his bank, six nickels and a dime. Forty cents goes through the slot, one coin at a time. Pete hears the car keys jingling. Dad's walking out the door. I'd like to come along, Pete says, to shop at Harry's store. Can you count out coins equal to the amount of money Pete has? The store is full of pretty things, all lined up row by row. But Pete is after dinosaurs and knows just where to go. A small dino costs two dollars, a triceratops is three. Pete says, the little dinosaur is a better price for me. Pete makes a tough decision. Dad's waiting at the door. He chooses Stegosaurus and won't spend any more. That will be two dollars plus fifteen cents tax. Pete carries his own package. Dad says, let's get a snack and you can bank your money as soon as we get back. Clink, 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 clink. Clink, clink, clinkity. Money saved in a bank makes your brain think thinkity. Pete has a $1.30 in his bank. How much do you have in yours? Money fun. Get to know your coins by doing rubbings of the front and back of each coin. Put a coin underneath a piece of paper and rub lightly with the pencil until the image comes through, just like this. 
According to a survey made by the magazine Zillions, Consumer Report for Kids, about half the kids received a regular weekly allowance. The typical allowance for 9 and 10 year olds is $3. Do your own survey. Talk to six kids you know. What do they receive in allowance? Show your results on a chart. Ways to earn money. Bringing in mail or newspapers, cat feeding, dog walking, leaf raking, lawn watering, weeding, snow shoveling, helping at a birthday party. Which job would you like to do? Make a job wanted poster to let people know you are available. Did you ever buy something because it looked good to you in a store or on a TV commercial, then were disappointed with your purchase? Nearly everyone has had such an experience. What was yours? Tell about it in a letter to your mom or dad. Give to charity. One thing you can do with money you earn is to give some of it away to people in need or to causes you believe in. What will you do this year? And if you can't give money, perhaps you would like to volunteer and donate your time. Here are some facts about money. The first clearly recorded use of marked coins was by the Greeks just after 700 BC. Before pieces of metal were used, copper, bronze, iron, gold, and silver, many things were tried out. Seeds, cowrie shells, stones, leather, animal teeth, beads, salt, corn, feathers, grain. Today all coins we use are produced in one of four government mints. All the bills we use are printed at the U.S. Bureau of Engraving and Printing in Washington, D.C. The tiny letter to the right of the face of the dime is called the mint mark. It tells you where the coin was minted. D is for Denver, O is for New Orleans, P is for Philadelphia, S is for San Francisco. At one time or another, we have had a 20-cent coin, a half-cent coin, a two-cent coin, and even a three-cent coin. The Lincoln penny that we use today was first used in 1909 to mark the 100th anniversary of President Abraham Lincoln's birth. It is the law that any picture of American money cannot be printed its actual size. It must be printed either bigger or smaller than it really is. Counterfeiters rather bother to make fake coins. They usually make fake bills, and all governments try to make it very difficult to copy their paper money. That's why most, most counterfeit money is easily spotted. The name piggy bank comes from a kind of clay called pig. Money stored at home in jars made of this clay came to be called pig banks. Eventually, people began making them into the shape of pigs, and the name changed to piggy bank. Words for money, dough, moolah, gelt, cash, two bits, quarter, four bits, fifty cents, greenbacks, bills, bucks, quid, a pound of sterling, expressions we use, penny pincher, a person who does not like to spend, two cents worth, a person who must always give an opinion, a penny for your thoughts, what someone says when he wants to know what you're thinking, a plug nickel, something worthless, nickel and diming, bargaining and being cheap, your bottom dollar, the lowest price, you look like a million bucks, you look great. The end.